Hi guys! In this video, I will show you how to create this easy braid combo without adding hair to the braids. So, this is easy and fun style for the beginners. Beginning the braiding from the side, take a amount of hair, share the piece in three equal strands. And then just braid regular three strand braid. You can bring the strands over or under to the middle one, it doesn't matter. I move them from side over to the middle, alternately from both sides. And then just keep on repeating until the braid will reach on the back of the head. And to get more volume for the braid, I will pancake the edges of the braid. So the braid will just look a little bit bigger. The next step is create the similar braid to the another side. So three strands and move the strands alternately from side to the middle. And continue this until the braid will reach on the back of the head. Then I will create the 5 strand braid on back. For this, I take a pretty big amount of hair, about half. Then I take 2 strands from side, bring it out most under. Then I take a new strand and bring the strand over. Then I split the rest in two and bring the outmost under and over. Then the outmost strand from the right, under and over and the outmost from left, under and over, rightmost, under and over, and the leftmost, under and over. Then I will add some hair. And braid in the same way, under, add hair, and over, under, add hair, and over. Then I stop adding and keep on repeating the pattern without adding. I pancake also this braid to get more volume for the hairstyle. Then continue braiding under and over, under and over, under and over, under and over. Keep on braiding until the end of the hair. Next, I will create the three strand braids on both sides of the five strand braid. So split the rest of the hair in two, then take the another strand and three strands, and then just braid. Again, you can bring the strands from side to the middle, over or under, 
it's totally up to you. After the first stitches, I also pancake the braid. It makes the texture look the same as the previous braids, but also it gives more volume for the hairstyle. Continue like this until the end of the hair. And then just do the same to the other side. Three strands and bring the strands from side alternately to the middle. After a few stitches, remember to pancake the braid. It's easier to pancake while braiding when the strands are not too tight to pull out a little bit. At the end, I tie all three braids together with the elastic. Then I use the first braids I created to create a crown braid or hello braid effect. And I use poppy pins to tie these braids up under each other's. And here's the final result of this hairstyle. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked, please hit the thumbs up for this video and subscribe my channel. Have a great day and happy braiding!